Okay, so now we have our beat up image finished. We're going to close this one. Make sure you save it as a PSD so you can keep using it. And go back to our original picture. And we're going to change a few other things. Now this last one was more on the realistic side. Like you had someone who did something to you. And so this is what you looked like afterwards. This one is a little bit more on the sci-fi side. We're going to remove some sections of the face. Or add some of those sections in a different place. If you don't know about the cloning stamp, the cloning stamp allows you to take pieces and move them around. Before we begin, let's copy this layer, Command J. Okay, now grab that eyeball, or actually maybe this eyeball, and we're gonna put it right there. And I'm just gonna paint it right on there just like that. Give myself a third eye. And there it is, my third eye. Um, I can do a couple things to try to clean this up a little bit and make it look like it's not just this eye repeated. I can zoom in here and clone stamp out a little bit of this edge so you don't see the edge of it. So it doesn't look like there's a teardrop on that one but I think I went a little too far. So I'll add a little bit back in. There we go. And a little bit on this side too, just kind of until you're happy. Okay, so that's what I look like if I have a third eye. Let's go ahead and Command J this one again. And this time, instead of adding an eye, I am going to remove one. So this time I'm gonna work with mostly this spot healing brush. Usually we use the spot healing brush to erase little blemishes, like if I didn't like this little freckle here, I can get rid of that and whatever that mark is. And down here there's one, I could go crazy and get rid of all those dots if I wanted to. Of course, you might wanna have a smaller brush to do that. Well, anyway, I could do that, but in this case, what I want to do is remove this section. Now, what this does, again, is it takes the pixels from around the spot and kind of move them inside of the spot. So it's got the same colors as around and the same texture as the spots around, and it helps to even out the skin. So if I really wanted to make myself look blemishless. I could spend a lot of time coming in here and do that, but I'm a little less concerned about that and a little more concerned about the fact that I have two eyes. I would like to have one eye. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to take a rather large brush and this isn't going to be perfect, but I'm going to drag in slightly from around the edges and then we're going to come back in and clean it up with that clone stamp. And see, it does, like I said, it takes the pixels from around the edge. So sometimes you'll see something like this happen and you'll just have to erase it and then rely on your cloning stamp to fix right there. But you should be able to do a pretty good job of removing the eye. And right here, it's not gonna let me do that. Oh, it did. That time I just clicked and I was able to do it. So that looks, that actually looks pretty good. Let's zoom in and look again. Let's see how we did. Not bad. Right here, I've got a lot of the same spot. If you look closely, see this spot right here, it's repeated several times. So what I can do is get my cloning stamp and I can just stamp a new spot. Right now I have the opacity at 80%. And I think that'll work pretty well because if it's at full percent, it's gonna copy like right here where I alt and clicked and it'll be exactly the same. But if you have the opacity down, it'll blend in a little bit. Okay, and that, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now I only have one eye on this side. 